hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that uh, how basically you can build out a desktop application where basically you can uh, download all the profile pictures and videos of the instagram username uh, straight inside your local file system so this will be a simple desktop application which we will be building using twikinter framework let me launch this application and show to you so python gui.py so it will be a graphical user interface application and you will see that guys basically it contains a simple interface where you can enter the username of the person that you want to grab all the profile pictures and the post so you can see this is the username out there of the instagram and we just need to plug the username here guys so we will simply write the username that is written and after you write this username guys you need to select your output folder i will select inside my downloads directory so here all the photographs and the videos will be automatically uh, saved so select the folder and now just click the download media file so you will see as i click this button guys one by one it will basically scratch all the photographs you will see that it is basically scraping this and downloading all the photographs from the profile here and uh, basically once it is done it will show this message on the screen that it downloaded 74 post out there so you can see it is bulk downloading all the post from the instagram user profile here so it depends upon how many post are there so if you have lot of more a lot more post you need to wait you can see it has downloaded 74 media files so now we have a option guys basically if i open the downloads directory nothing would be present we need to click this button basically this all these photographs will be you can create a zip file so now it has created this zip file inside that directory you, you can check that inside your downloads directory guys all the photographs have been successfully saved here it also contains videos as well guys so you can see this is a photograph from the profile this is also a jpg photograph this is basically a video you can see that So all these photographs have been scraped guys you can see that it is saved inside the local file directory and this is a desktop application you can change this username to any username let's suppose I change it to this username I just need to plug the username guys this is a nice thing about this application that I built using Twikinter framework so plug this username and once again click this button so again one by one it will basically guys uh, do this process you will see that now it is once again downloading all the photographs so once it is done you can see it is doing that in the background so you need to click this button and after that it will start this downloading process so we are using instagram api in the background guys so i will showing you step by step how it is done using a very simple thing out there so once it is done you will see downloaded 56 media files so now we can create a zip file so once you create you will see it has created that zip file if you open you will see it will have the second folder which is the second username and now once again guys this is the You can see that it has downloaded all the images all the you can see that so in this case guys you can see it has downloaded all that stuff so basically guys you can purchase this script the link is given in the description of the video if you still have doubts so i will be writing this script step by step so the very first thing you need to do right here to build this project it's very simple so what we need to do right here inside your command line we just need to install a module guys which is uh, the module which is uh, insta loader so just write pip install insta loader so this is basically the package guys which is required for this application so after this guys we will first of all import this package and then we will import the twikinter framework as tk and from Tequinter, there is a module out there which is file dialog. 
so file dialog is also needed and we also need the built-in operating system module and we also need the zip file module to create zip files inside twikinter and basically guys we will start this application first of all so what we will do is that we will say window dot main loop so we first of all we need to initialize the window here so we will say window is equal to tk and it contains this method tk we will put a title that is instagram media downloader and then guys we will have a field for if you just reload this application just start this python gui.py so it is saying tk is not defined let me just see okay we need to import you can enter as tk so just change it here this is your window guys and uh, you can even change the geometry so you can provide here 500 by 500 the width and the height so now it is bigger so right here guys we need to uh, place some widgets on the screen so where we will be taking the input so this will be first of all the username field guys so here just refresh so this will have this input field where we can enter the username so we are using the label instagram username url and then we are using the pack method to add it to the screen and then we have a entry widget and then we are also adding it so then guys we will have two buttons three buttons sorry three buttons we will have we will simply add this code right here so first button will be to download media files and then we have the select output folder and the create zip file so these three buttons will be there guys and uh, you just need to define the methods here which we have defined right here in the command so when we click these buttons we need to execute these functions which is download instagram media select the output folder and create zip file so we need to create these three methods right here at the top here so what we will do is right here we will define this function def and uh, here the second method is uh, select output folder and the third method is create zip file so these are the three methods the third method is the zip file method so same so after that if you refresh this application what will happen we will have these three buttons out there so application interface is complete guys now we simply need to uh, write the logic so whenever you click the output folder button guys we need to basically show a screen to the user so this will be a global variable which will be output folder and uh, right here guys we will simply say output file name and here we will use the operating system module and it contains a path variable and uh, we will simply say here sorry output folder sorry output folder is equal to and here we will use the file dialog uh, module and contains a method which is ask directory so what will happen basically if you hit this button it will show a window where we can select our output folder you will see that so here you can select your folder where the image files need to be stored so this is done right here now after doing this whenever we click the download button we need to download the photographs from the instagram api so right here inside this code guys this is slightly complicated we first of all need to get the username which the user has entered 
so we can get using the username entry dot get method so after this we need to initialize the loader which is install loader library and it contains this install loader constructor and here we will simply check guys inside the if condition we need to extract the username from the URL that you submit if the user is submitting the full URL then we need to ex extract only the username so this is the condition that we write here uh, after this guys we just need to download the media files so for doing this we will say profile install order and basically guys it contains this profile method and this contains a method from username we will pass the context first of all and then we will pass the username actual username that the user has done we will initialize a variable media kind zero and then we will simply run a for loop for post in profile dot get post underscore post so basically guys this will get all the post that the instagram user have we will simply run a for loop for each post we need to download this contains a download underscore post method guys and inside this we will download the post we will provide the target folder to be the media folder media underscore folder so media underscore folder So after you download this we need to increment it by 1 so we will say media count plus is equal to 1. And when it is done guys we will simply say outside this for loop we will simply say downloaded this much of media files we can even add one statement here also like this so after this guys what we need to do is that now it is done so right here if you now reload the application what should happen if you basically run this first of all you need to select the folder we will select the downloads folder and then we will write the username so click on this button and now guys one by one it will download it is saying media underscore folder is not defined uh, just wait guys let me see media okay so yeah after this guys we do need to create this media folder uh, if it is not already present so right here what should happen here inside this uh, out after this you just need to copy this code right here so we are creating media folder automatically whenever we launch this application if it is not present then we are creating it using operating system module so once again refresh this so select your output folder downloads and then enter the username click on download media files so one by one guys it will basically it is saying message label is not defined so what I will do is guys I will simply copy paste this code you can basically get the code in the description if you have some problem you can purchase it very reasonable price is there so after you do this guys you will see that now if I refresh it let me just refresh it So you will select the folder, 
click on that so you will see guys in the command line one by one it will basically scrape all the images you will see that you can see downloaded 56 media files so now if I click the third uh, button guys uh, now we need to create a zip file so how the logic is well, let me just uh, guide you the logic which is we are using this logic here basically we are declaring output folder global variable and uh, we are basically using this much of complicated code is there so you can basically go to the description and purchase it basically we are checking the extension if it is mp4 jpg or png file then we are doing this we are adding this to the zip folder I mean we are writing this and then we are showing this message that created the zip file if you click it you will see it will create this zip file and uh, it will contain all these uh, image and the you can see that so this is the application guys thank you very much for watching this video and all the source code is given in the description of the video and I will be seeing you in the next video.